In this video, I will explain you the differences between underscore app.js and underscore document.js files in Next.js application. So both these files are optional, as you can notice over here. Both these files are optional. Even if you don't have these files in your application, your application will still work. But there are some cases in which you will need these files. So first file underscore app.js this file is very useful if you want to initialize all the page components. So by default, uh, this underscore app.js file will initialize all the page components. But if you want to custom, if you want to customize that operation, then underscore app.js file is required. Underscore document.js file is required if you want to update the HTML and body tags. For example, if you want to add any attributes to the HTML or body tags, you can do that using underscore document.js. Without that, you will not be able to access the attributes of this HTML and body tags of the pages. The next difference is that underscore app.js is very useful if you want to add the global providers, global layouts, and CSS files for the application. And underscore document.js, this particular file is very useful if you want to add a third party CSS JavaScript files right in the HTML head tag. And it also allows you to add the meta tags for each page. These are some of the major differences between app.js and document.js files in Next.js. Thank you for watching.